Fluoride in water is supposed to fight tooth decay, but could it also cause cancer? It's a controversial question. Now Harvard University is actually caught up in the debate with serious allegations that an Ivy League professor may be covering up the truth. Fox Undercover's Mike Baudet is investigating the possible link between fluoride and cancer. Questions about the safety of fluoride in drinking water are not new, but now the debate has shifted to Harvard University, where a professor and his doctoral student are at odds over research, research that could show a link between fluoride in drinking water and bone cancer in boys. The professor doesn't think there's a connection, but his opinion is under scrutiny, since he's also a paid consultant for the toothpaste industry. Dr. Chester Douglas, a Harvard University big shot. He's chairman of the Department of Oral Health Policy and Epidemiology at Harvard School of Dental Medicine. And he's at the center of a fluoride debate, the question of whether fluoride in drinking water can cause cancer, specifically osteosarcoma in boys. Hi, Dr. Douglas, Mike Bodat with Fox 25. We wanted to talk to you about the fluoride controversy. I just was uh, talking to the lawyers about the freedom of information, so we're going to give, a, give all our studies to them. Dr. Douglas spoke publicly about the controversy for the first time to Fox Undercover. Is there a cover up here? This report from Harvard Medical School will answer that question. The dispute erupted last year when the Washington-based Environmental Working Group raised serious allegations accusing Dr. Douglas of possibly covering up the link between fluoridated water and cancer. The, the question is very simple. Did he represent the research correctly or did he not? Ken Cook is Environmental Working Group's president. He points to a thesis done by one of Dr. Douglas's own students. Dr. Elise Basson found for males less than 20 years old, fluoride level in drinking water during growth is associated with an increased risk of osteosarcoma. But according to Cook, Dr. Douglas dismissed any link when he presented this final report to the National Institutes of Environmental Health Sciences. Uh, Dr. Basson's study found some very compelling evidence that there's a risk uh, of bone cancer uh, from fluoridation in water. And the presentation of her research suggested the, the opposite, that there was no evidence. The Environmental Working Group has raised concerns about Dr. Douglas's close ties to toothpaste giant Colgate pointing to his job as editor-in-chief of the Colgate Oral Care Report. Fox Undercover has learned Dr. Douglas has also worked as a consultant for Colgate for the last 10 years. The company has paid him tens of thousands of dollars. Do you suspect that Dr. Douglas is trying to protect the toothpaste industry? Um, obviously, if he's got a financial interest uh, working, at least in part, for a company that that is making fluoridated toothpaste, one would be concerned, one would be aware of that potential conflict of interest. Dr. Douglas insists he's done nothing wrong. You've got to admit, working for Colgate, it smells a little fishy. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I, I, looked at, I looked at the 200 uh, articles that we've written for them. Uh, only, 12, only about 11 or 12 of them were on fluoride. You wouldn't cover up something because you have a financial interest in Colgate? No. Uh, there was never a chance to cover up anything. This report will speak directly to the issue of whether there's any evidence of trying to cover something up. That report is from Harvard Medical School, which is investigating the controversy. Dr. Douglas says the report is still in draft form and would not show it to us. As for Dr. Basson's thesis, which showed a link between fluoridated water and cancer in boys. She did a good job. She had a good, a good group of people advising her. And it's a nice, it's a nice analysis. No, there's nothing wrong with that analysis. The question is, it's a subgroup. Is it true when you look at the whole study? That's the question. Not for the environmental working group, which says the subgroup of young men should be looked at closely since they're more likely to develop this type of cancer. So why weren't Dr. Basson's findings included in that final report from Dr. Douglas to the government? They got a final report. The truth is, it wasn't the final report. If, I mean, if you want to get your facts correct, that wasn't the real final report. It was a draft. Do you think there is a link between fluoride and bone cancer? In the whole study, my, my best guess is I don't think we're going to see a, a, an association. Uh, it seems like somebody was trying to uh, cover up or alter the findings or 
keep it quiet. Tony Valentine is watching the controversy closely. It's personal. His son Seth died 20 years ago after a painful battle with osteosarcoma. This is a picture of Seth and his younger brother, Zachary, just before we found out that he had the bone cancer. He was as healthy as any normal American kid. Seth grew up in Dedham, one of 137 communities in Massachusetts that adds fluoride to the water. Valentine says he wants to know more about any connection between fluoridated water and cancer. What do you think about this possible link? When I first heard that, I was, I was kind of shocked because I knew that we used the Dedham water and I knew there was fluoride in it. Valentine says even the suggestion of a link is disturbing. I don't think one kid's life is worth uh, having a mouthful of pearly white teeth. Dr. Bassin declined to be interviewed, but she's standing by her work and tells Fox Undercover a paper based on her thesis will soon be published in the Journal of Cancer Causes and Control. Dr. Douglas says his full study on the possible link between fluoridated water and cancer should come out later this year. A Harvard spokesman tells us its investigation is ongoing, but added the university does not believe there is any conflict with Dr. Douglas working for Colgate. This as the federal government continues its own investigation. I'm Mike Baudet for Fox Undercover.